War was declared in June 1812, and the Americans crossed into Canada straight away. However, they were halted and driven back by the British and the Indian Confederacy. The British pursued the Americans across the border and took Detroit. The US was able to counter and defeat the British Navy in the Great Lakes at the Battle of Lake Erie in 1813. This allowed the Americans to retake Detroit. They then defeated the Indian Confederation at the Battle of the Thames and were able to kill Tecumseh in the fighting. Meanwhile, the British were blockading the United States. During this blockade, they managed to block slave ships from entering the US and freed thousands of slaves. Britain also gave freedom to any slaves who crossed into British territory, many of which would join in the war against America. In Europe in 1814, Napoleon had been defeated and forced into exile. This allowed Britain to focus on defeating the US. British troops landed in Chesapeake Bay took Washington DC and infamously burned down the White House. In the South, the British were funding the Red Stick Creek against the Americans in the Creek War. However, by August 1814, under Andrew Jackson, the Americans managed to defeat the Creeks and take over a vast amount of land. In September 1814, the British moved into Maine successfully. However, in quick succession, the US was able to stop a British advance on New York and an assault on Baltimore. The latter battle gave the inspiration for the Star Spangled Banner pole. The British then decided to withdraw from the Northeast and prepared to attack New Orleans. However, peace talks had already begun by the end of 1814. The blockade was straining the American economy and the British, who were trying to prevent European nations from taking territory from the French, did not see any advantage in pursuing a war with no real benefits. Peace was made in December. The Canadian border remained unchanged, the British agreed not to fund any Indian resistance to American expansion, and they had to give up the idea of an independent Indian nation on the border. However, unaware that a peace deal had been signed, the British attacked New Orleans in January 1815. The Americans, led by Andrew Jackson again, were able to hold them back. This final victory gave the Americans a feeling of national pride and success in the war, despite not really achieving any of their pre-war goals. In US politics, the war brought in the era of good feelings and helped bring an end to the Federalist Party.